by the physics definition, ether is a universal substance that acts as a medium for transmission of electromagnetic waves. Electromagnetic energy is what propagates through space. So that brings me to outer space, which is ether. It is pitch black without the stars, planets, etc. So ether is associated with the color black. Ether is what makes all of life possible. Now, we of course know there would be no light without dark. We wouldn't have thought of creating the light if there wasn't already darkness in a room. There was also a saying, gone into the ether. So you could say my keys have gone into the ether. That is an act of disappearing into the void, which void is by definition empty space. What is ether? It is space. Void in a spiritual definition would be the state of pure consciousness in which the mind has been emptied of all particular objects or images. So in Genesis 2-7, we have God formed man out of the dirt from the ground. The dirt is the original state of everything. There would be no trees without the dirt. So there would be no trees without the dirt. And our eyes pick up images through light. So in order for us to see the trees and for trees to be present, there has to have been the origin of darkness, of dirt. As we know, the richest and purest dirt is dark brown to black. In order for our minds to be emptied of all particular objects or images, that means that our eyes are not picking up on this light that is not present yet. Darkness being the origin. In this ether. Ether is a unique essence of life force energy that flows through the universe and most of existence. A source of quintessence, chi, aura, and mana. It is the mystical celestial element that is also known as the fifth element. Fire, water, earth, air, and ether. In Plato's Timaeus, speaking on the topic of air, Plato mentions that they are the most translucent kind, which is called by the name of ether. One claim is that the ether is the pure essence that the mythological gods lived and breathed in the same way humans did with air. Another claim is that the ether is a force used by God himself to create the universe. Another reference would be in the Hermeticist book, The Kabbalion, that not only explains its nature, but the plane it comes from. There have been many claims and theories made by alchemists, philosophers, and scientists, such as Nikola Tesla and Dayton Miller, that confirm the ether's existence. Ether is the medium for every electromagnetic wave, from radio waves to gamma rays. Ether exists in elemental, cosmic, and spiritual forces. This is also recorded in the Kabbalion's entries. Energy and spirit. Everything vibrates, known as the principle of vibration. All energy moves, vibrates, and spirals. The differences between different manifestations of matter, form, energy, mind, and spirit are the result of different degrees of vibration. Levels and layers. There are three basic planes of being. The great physical plane, Earth. The great mental plane, air, fire, water, and earth. The great spiritual plane, ether. Spirits are believed to be ethereal beings that are basically made of ether. Experiments on the ether. Melanin is made with the ether that fills our entire universe. Understand that the melanin you possess makes you a walking ether being. Within our entire being, melanin is present in our skin, in our eyes, within our entire organs and how our body functions. And in studies, it's shown that beings with more melanin have a larger pineal gland, able to tap into higher levels of consciousness and hyperperception. Beings with more melanin are receptive to all energy within the electromagnetic spectrum. And beings with more melanin are able to control their own vibrational frequency. When a being of melanin receives sunlight, downloads of information take place and they are able to receive cosmic guidance from the universe. And you can now find melanin being used in things like supercomputer chips. Melanin holds the ability to transduce electrical energy. Our melanin is like the chlorophyll within the plants and we are able to receive energy from the sun and transduce that same energy. You are a walking fragment of the universe and have a supercomputer for a being. So... Basically, so so I want you to look at this definition for this information. What is ether medium? Ether medium. Medium. Ether medium is which ether medium? We know the ether. Aether. This can be otherwise called a luminous ether in physics. 
in, in physics, the theoretical universal substance, which is considered during the 19th century in order to act as a medium for tr acts as a medium for the transmission of electromagnetic w waves such as light and x-rays so the so now presents the pr question what x-rays what x-rays is hmm, now we got to find out what x-rays is x-rays It's ether, so let's just look deeper into this here. Okay, which takes us into lumiferous ether. Ether. No. This. Ether. This that our says that our sun right here. Our galactic sun right here. This is our galactic sun. This is our um, atmospheric sun as as well as our black sun. It's one and the same contains luminotherious ether luminotherious ether just read along was postulated was the medium for the propagation of light it was invoked to explain the ability or the of the apparently wave-based light to propagate through empty space something that waves something that waves should not be able to do now you want to Let's see here. Propagate. What does propagate mean? Let's look at this word. The breeding of specimens of a plant. Let's go into propagation. Let's see what propagation means. So you can guys can understand what's going on. All right, let's look it up right here in the computer. Look it up here in the computer. Etymology. Here we go. All right. Here we go. It says the breed, the breeding of a specimen comes, promoting an idea of theory it comes from the Latin word prepare, which means to reproduce plants, breed plants, love to propagate. The first part talked about how ether how ether and gamma rays and and basically and I did the search in a record breaking discover, discovery scientists disco, detected our very own sun is emitting a extraordinary amount of gamma rays wavelengths and ether acts as the medium ether is that bridge Gateway, we talk about the medium, we bridge or gateway wavelengths of light known to carry the most energy of any other wavelength in the electromagnetic spectrum. So let's go back to this here. Ether is a universal substance that acts as a medium for transmission of electromagnetic waves. Electromagnetic energy is what propagates through space. So that brings me to outer space, which is ether. It is pitch black without the stars, planets, etc. So ether is associated with the color black. Ether is what makes all of life possible. Now, we of course know there would be no light without dark. We wouldn't have thought of creating the light if there wasn't already darkness in a room. There is also a saying, gone into the ether. So you could say... Okay, so... So, ether is associated with the color black. Ether is what makes all of life possible. Now, we of course know there would be no light without dark. We wouldn't have thought of creating the light if there wasn't already darkness in a room. There is also a saying, gone into the ether. So, you could say, my keys have gone into the ether. That is an act of disappearing into the void, which void is, by definition, empty space. What is ether? It is space. 
void in a spiritual definition would be the state of pure consciousness in which the mind has been emptied of all particular objects or images. So in Genesis 2-7, we have God formed man out of the dirt from the ground. The dirt is the original state of everything. There would be no trees without the dirt. So there would be no trees without the dirt. And our eyes pick up images through light. So in order for us to see the trees and for trees to be present, there has to have been the origin of darkness, of dirt. As we know, the richest and purest dirt is dark brown to black. In order for our minds to be emptied of all particular objects or images, that means that our eyes are not picking up on this light that is not present yet. Darkness. Okay, so let's um, hold on here. Okay, so when you're dealing with, um, like I said, ether, it acts as a medium. Ether is space. Ether is that darkness. Dark matter is ether. Dark energy is ether. Okay? And that's what ether is. Ether is dark energy. All right? This is another way of saying what ether is. But it works It, it works uh, as is it said acts as a medium and when you talk about a medium you're talking about a bridge or a gateway all right for the transfer of electromagnetic waves dealing with gamma radiation okay hold on here so we go back into this here and say ether and physics uh, a theoretical universal substance believed during the 19th century to act as a medium for the transmission of electromagnetic waves, that is, light and x rays, much as sound waves are transmitted, uh, transmitted by elastic media such as air. The ether was assumed to be weightless, transparent, functional, I mean, sorry, frictionless, undetectable chemically or physically and literally permeable to all matter and space. The theory met with increasing difficulties as the nature of light and the structure of matter became better understood. It was serious. Okay, so let's 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 go a little deeper into ether because this is a, you know what is ether? What is ether? of matter became better understood it was what what we was so let's 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 go a little deeper into ether because this is a, you know what is ether what is ether so when we look at x-rays let's see if uh, x-ray flares produce a burst of radiation across the electromagnetic spectrum from radio waves to x-rays and gamma rays more information okay so um we talk about ether what 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 we was saying right here because ether is that medium ether is that bridge all right that allows the transmission of gamma rays Allows the transmission of gamma ray, gamma gamma rays, and radio waves. All right. So you're talking about a transmission. Let's let's go into the definition of transmission. So transmission etymology, the action or process of transmitting something, the state of being transmitted. All right. The transmission of the virus, means, which means to when the virus is transmitted, that means it's passed on or is is sent from one body to another body when it's transmitted. All right, a program a signal in the broadcast or, uh, or of a broadcast or sent out. So that's something that's been broadcast has been sent out. So when you're talking about it acts as a medium of the transmission of electromagnetic uh, waves or gamma. Uh, and radio waves it's a bridge so that ether is a it's literally a black hole it's a um what we can say is it's a gateway but ether is what makes up space it's dark energy it's dark matter all right and here comes the question is ether dark energy it exists throughout the universe including between galaxies which need energy to continue to accelerate. By definition, ether is the substance that allows energy to travel 
in waves. Thus, it is like it is a likely candidate for being dark energy if ether can be proven one day. Well, we we already know what ether is. We know that ether is dark energy. All right. We know that ether is dark energy, but we want to go deeper into this ether because it's that medium is is like the cellular structure of dark energy. Okay. Okay, in this uh, photo, you see um, two celestial organisms. All right, you see two celestial organisms. I'll call this um, Lennox, and I'll call this uh, Cassandra. All right, I'll call this Lennox and Cassandra. And what you see is this darkness in between them. So you cannot see the ether... But the ether is there, and it works as a medium. It's a bridge, all right? So these these are two celestial organisms that are full of dark energy because dark energy creates light. Within that dark energy is the ether. The ether um, literally gravitates within itself to create this powerful energy, all right? And therefore... Just like how a galactic sun sends us gamma radiation, radio waves, you see radio waves being transferred between these two um, celestial organisms. All right, so you see there's a radio wave that's being transferred there. All right, it's communicating there. Then there's another radio wave that's going there. So they're communicating with each other. So um, it's in the form of frequencies. So when you're talking about X rays and gamma rays, these are more so heightened radio waves that are sending not only messages but sending massive amounts of energy to one another. All right, and ether is literally that bridge between these two celestial bodies. So these are different examples of solar flares hitting our planet, and you must remember that. Solar flares are literally um, wavelengths of um, gamma waves, X wave, X clear, X waves. All right. So they're X flares, which are literally um, just a little bit less than gamma waves, and they're pretty much radio frequencies. Right, because when you just start dealing with um, space, time, and you start dealing with ether, what you have to remember is that ether, like I say, is that bridge that is between. It's a, it's a medium. It acts as a medium or a bridge between that 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 allows the transmission, or you know, to transmit, to send, to. Uh, transfer transmission will be the same thing as transferring um, energy or light energy from one source to the other. So when we're talking about our galactic sun and solar flares, the sun and nothing but pure ether. All right, ether, ether, and, and and even though ether acts as a medium or acts as a bridge. All of this is coming into our planet or into our realm. Um, the ether is gathered up, and the ether is what causes this to accelerate. See, the ether will be more so of an accelerant, all right, because it's made up of dark energy. And and as these solar flares, you know, we talked about these solar flares, and we talked about how when the solar flares come from the sun. And it literally, as it goes through our galaxy, it, it literally gains momentum because the ether works as an accelerant, all right? And it accelerates the particles, uh, these, these gamma waves or these radio waves that hits the planet. Now, when it hits the planet, what's happening? Well, it increases the frequencies and vibrations in, in each realm because we have nine realms within this planet. So each realm, the frequencies and vibrations are increased, which means the radio waves become more intelligent. 
All right. Which is why we have an enemy here who, you know, made a decision to come to our planet. And now they're trying to save themselves from the radio waves. And these radio waves are literally um, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the midst of terraforming. No matter how cold they try to make it, it's not stopping the, the process of evolution or stopping the process of everything shifting into another um, organism. Okay, so this is when you're talking about ether and you're talking about the transmission of or the medium that acts as a medium for the transmission of gamma waves, radio waves, X, X waves, you know, um, it's, it's that bridge. It's that dark energy. All right. That dark energy is nothing but ether. All right. So um, when we start talking about the ether beings, even Tesla himself came up with the 369. All right. You got to understand 369. So uh, we want to talk about that real quick there. But see, this is that transmission of um, is that, that transmission of the radio waves, the gamma waves. All right. Okay. So when you start talking about the three, six, nine and the ether, you have the three ether beings and the six ether being, you have the nine ether beings. When you talk about the three ether beings, you're talking about beings whose bodies are not able to contain the highest level of ether in a physical sense as well as a celestial sense. So our sun literally emits um, ether, which is dark energy. All right. That's dark energy that's been emitted from our sun. So the three ether beings, they don't have that um, celestial makeup to contain the high levels of ether or what you, what, you, what you wouldn't call gamma waves or X waves um, from the sun. So therefore, the sun literally hurts them. Now you have six ether beings. Six ether beings can contain some. All right. They can contain some of the um, energy from from the from the sun from the moon all right on a celestial level they can contain some of them all right they're right there in the middle which means that they are like right in between the the three ether beings and the nine ether beings but they're not quite nine ether beings all right but they can take their selves to a certain level but after that certain level you know they will begin to um, hurt under um, certain conditions. All right, so you had your three ether beings, very low frequencies, very low vibration. Then you have your your six ether beings, which are um, right there in the middle. Their frequencies and vibrations are in the middle. Then you have the nine ether beings, and the nine ether beings are, are able to contain the highest amount of ether, the most powerful levels of ether that comes from. Uh, the, on, on a cosmic sense, on a celestial sense. So you have the nine ether beings who are able to contain all of the ether that's coming in. Six ether beings can only contain some of the ether, but not all of the ether. The three ether beings cannot contain any of the ether, but the ether um, literally is a building block of life. So whoever created these two beings um, was only able to use very little ether to create such beings. Um, we, what you call nine ether beings, all right, um, which in the middle, literally manifested by nature in the cosmos. We are a manifestation of the, of the great mothers, which is why we can take the most powerful substance that ether can give off. Okay, so um, I hope you guys understand the 369 um, theory of 369, how we explain that. Um, now we get into the moon. And it does the moon emit gamma rays. 
All right, so you remember, ether is literally the, the medium for the transmission of gamma rays, x-rays, radio waves. Um, so moon emit gamma rays. The moon is the indirect source of gamma radiation and produces gamma rays through the interac interaction with cosmic rays. Cosmic rays are a type of high energy radiation that for the most part produce uh, outside of our solar systems. They're, in, they're produced by things like supernova and um, active galactic nuclei. So we want to get into the moon and the gamma rays, which the, uh, we talk about the atmosphere, the atmosphere that we see every day. So this is the makeup of the atmosphere. All right. So you have the troposphere right here. You have the ozone layer, which is part of it. You have the stratosphere, the mesosphere, the um, uh, the mesosphere, the mesopause, the thermosphere, the exosphere. This is what makes up the atmosphere. Okay, that's what makes up the atmosphere, and the atmosphere is literally space. Okay, the atmosphere is literally space. That's all it is. It's nothing but space. So when we um, are standing on top of this, we have a realm here. Okay, so don't worry about the globe. All right, so don't say that about the globe. What we want to do is explain the, the atmosphere. The atmosphere is nothing but space. So when we are getting the, that moonlight, that's pure uh, lunar energy or gamma or gamma waves that's um, literally that contains extremely high levels of cosmic um, cosmic rays that's hitting the moon because cosmic rays are constantly coming are uh, constantly flowing all throughout the space throughout throughout the cosmos cosmic rays are constantly flowing okay the moon itself is within our atmosphere, right? So therefore, the moon also sends dark energy to our planet, as does the sun. It has its own source of energy. All right, it has its own source of energy, and as it is designed to feed the planet a different type of energy. The sun feeds the planet uh, a luminiferous solar energy, but the moon feeds the planet a luminiferous lunar energy. Therefore, the sun and the moon both produces different types of ether. You have a solar ether and a lunar ether. All right? One is physical, one is, is spiritual, one is positive, one is negative, okay? So the sun and moon both contains luminiferous ether, which means that the ether within both of these um, celestial organisms or celestial bodies, the ether illuminates okay so when it said that the gods will breathe this stone said the gods breathe ether there was a point here in our realm where it was nothing but pure sunlight pure moon, moonlight and you're talking about the the energy when you talk about ether and space you talk about heat all right and this is why you know we 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 explain to you all you know that um, we say ninety three beings. We are were the we were those gods who breathe the ether, and it would help us to transform. Remember, ether is a medium, right? It's a bridge. So therefore, we'd be breathing in the gamma waves. We'd be literally consuming the radio waves, the x the x waves. You know, we would, we would be consuming all this. So this is important for us to. Um, grasp and to understand what is ether. Ether is the basis of our life. 
all life across the cosmos, every living being has some level ether. Okay? Every living being has some level ether.